for our video recording purposes of the demonstration we will be working with our hoods raised all the way just so that the reflection of the glass doesn't interfere with our recording so please note that this is not the correct way to be working in the hood but we have the hood sashes raised only so that the glass reflection does not interfere with our recording today's experiment is extraction we are going to use the technique of extraction to separate the two components of an unknown mixture given to you this mixture has an acidic component and a neutral component we are going to do extraction and separate the two components and identify them by determining their melting points first of all before you start off with anything what i would like you to do is assemble the set of glassware that i have here for this experiment so what do we need to do today's experiment you need four graduate cylinders notice that i have this first graduate cylinder labeled sodium chloride the second one is labeled h2o for distilled water the third one i have it labeled as sodium hydroxide naoh and the last one which is a 50 ml graduate cylinder i have it labeled ethyl acetate that is the solvent that we are going to use if you do not have a 50 ml graduate cylinder you can use 100 ml cylinder as well and next i have taken ethyl acetate in this 125 ml erlenmeyer flask i have taken about 60 ml of the solvent and i have also kept this erlenmeyer flask covered by a beaker so that the solvent doesn't continuously keep evaporating off i have a pasteur pipette a disposable one ready when i want to use this now here what do i have i have this unknown compound you all have an unknown compound please note down the number of the unknown given to you this is the unknown that we are going to use for today's experiment and separate the two components i have a small glass rod i have a 100 ml beaker here this is the beaker in which we will dissolve this unknown compound after weighing now here i have the most important piece of glassware that we need for extraction experiment this you haven't seen before this is called a separatory funnel and this is a 125 ml separatory funnel that we are going to use shortly i will show you how to use it and this is attached to a ring stand i have a ring and underneath this separatory funnel i have kept a beaker and i have labeled this beaker waste any time we are using the separatory funnel you must keep a beaker under the separatory funnel just in case the contents of the separatory funnel leak out i also have a glass funnel here and a watch glass a small glass rod this is for later part of the experiment and then i have 225 ml erlenmeyer flask one is labeled org for organic layer this is the one in which i will collect the organic layer and the second one is labeled aq for aqueous layer and i am going to collect the aqueous layer in this 125 ml erlenmeyer flask as we proceed here you notice i have two 100 ml round bottom flasks in which we are going to collect our two layers and then rotovap the sub, uh, solvent off to gather the individual solids i also have blue litmus paper here ready when i am working with my aqueous layer so again these are all the different glassware that we need for today's experiment you must have them labeled correctly 
and ready before you start the experiment. I also kept a piece of Kim wipe because every time I use the separatory funnel, when I remove the stopper from the separatory funnel, I do not like to place the stopper on the countertop. I would like to put it on a piece of Kim wipe lest it may pick up any dust or contamination. So let us get all the glassware ready and then we are ready to go with the experiment.